Filipinos are set to return to the country after they successfully crossed the Rafa crossing in Egypt from Gaza. According to the Department of Foreign Affairs, the repatriates along with Palestinian are expected to arrive in the country on Friday. Sigrid Casineda tells us more. The Department of Foreign Affairs, or DFA, has confirmed that the repatriates will be on Qatar Airways flight QR-932, scheduled to land at Naia Terminal 3 on Wednesday afternoon. 35 Filipinos and one Palestinian are among those set to arrive in the country. Undersecretary Eduardo Jose de Vega stated that a total of 36 individuals are expected on Friday. Among them, 40 Filipinos have crossed the Rafa border, with three choosing to stay in Egypt with their Egyptian spouses. Two are a Filipino, mother and her daughter, with the mother being 38 weeks pregnant and unable to travel, and both hold Philippine passports. Meanwhile, the third batch of Filipinos from Lebanon arrived in the Philippines on Wednesday night. They were nine OFWs who boarded Qatar Airways flight QR-928 and landed at Naia Terminal 3. They decided to return because of the heightened tensions between Israel and the Hezbollah group in Lebanon. Also, two OFWs returned from the West Bank amid the conflict between Israel and the Palestinian group Hamas. They represent the first batch from the West Bank. Philippine Ambassador to Jordan Wilfredo C. Santos announced preparations for the safety of Filipinos among ongoing violence in the West Bank. The Embassy of Jordan reported a total of 123 Filipinos in the West Bank, including 91 resident Filipinos married to Palestinian nationals, their children and grandchildren, and nine nuns of different religions, along with 23 OFWs. The returning OFWs from the West Bank received financial assistance of 700 U.S. dollars each, equivalent to over 39,000 pesos. As of November 9, 2023, a total of 19 OFWs returned from Lebanon, while 184 OFWs and 7 infants returned from Israel. Two OFWs also returned from the West Bank. For God and my beloved Philippines, this has been Sigrid Castaneda, Azamanai News.